rising superstar in the sport, 18 year old Luella Bowden, who won the 84 plus kilo weight class. And we also have our coach here. If you can just start by kind of making an opening statement, summarizing your day, how it felt out there, how your day went, and coach, if you want anything you want to brag about on her, please take the opportunity. No, yeah, of course. Um, honestly, this whole weekend has been super nerve wracking because I've never been to such a big competition before. Um, but today felt felt equally good and bad. There were some parts that I was really proud of and some parts that were just <laughs> so silly to even miss. But overall, I'm just really excited about the whole competition, how it went, and seeing all these different amazing lifters just, like, lift alongside me. Yeah, I mean, for her, it's it was an amazing experience. And again, watching professionals do what they do and those little those little things that's hard to even coach right where it's just like you got to see it and experience it for the first time yourself before you actually so she had a lot of aha moments and learned a lot and um yeah obviously lifted lifted really big luckily we didn't need even our final lifts to still win a national championships because we missed all of them. <laughs> um, but, but I mean, again, that's me being a, a new coach to, in the powerlifting world as well, right? So taking into account, hey, we traveled, right? We were on a plane. We were here for a few days. We probably should have came over and done some lifts a couple of days ago, light, moved. Um, so, so it was a good learning experience for me as a coach, too, moving forward. So, but she did amazing. She, whatever we called for and put on the bar, she went out and did her best for sure. So. Well, I showed a lot of maturity out there. Um, I think people in the audience probably would not have seen how nervous you may have felt in the back warm up room. Um, how long have you been lifting? Where does that sense of maturity and composure come from when they say bar's loaded and you're walking up to the platform? Oof. It's a good question. That is. Um, honestly, I didn't really start um, lifting until July when I reached out to my coach and um, asked him because I started in track, but then he was like, you know, you'd be good at powerlifting. So I, I learned about that. I learned all the rules and yeah, just since July and my first meet was in October. Uh, and the maturity part, I, I still don't get, <laughs> but I, I really try to just focus all of my energy to what's on the bar, focus on the judges, um, in their calls, mostly, <laughs> um, and I just try to get through the lift, try not to make a big show out of it, and, um, yeah, just focus on on the next jump. Um, so I have a question. Um, you obviously you're a national champion on the open level. What are your plans going forward? Do you plan to do junior nationals? Um, yeah, talk about that. For sure. Um, yeah, actually, after my first competition, the first thing we wanted to do was try to go to jun uh, sub-junior, junior nationals. So um, that was actually the first competition I signed up for after um, my October meet. So I will be going to Scottsdale, um, my home state, and um, I'll be competing there in June. And yeah, we're hoping that we'll be able to make it to the world team and go to Romania. For the record, uh, put her on blast. Uh, she said she was going to open with uh, all of her miss lifts that she missed today. I want everybody to hold her yeah. accountable. Yeah. Please do. We'll just submit them today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, quick question. So we are around uh, the first attempt uh, for deadlifts. All right, not bad. We get to the second attempt. It starts to sink in. I'm about to be a master champion. What did it feel like when it actually sunk in? Like, you know what? This is this is this is about to happen. What did that feel like? Um, it was around right before my third lift, where I was like, whether 
like obviously I didn't I didn't make it <laughs> but whether or not I do I will be like number one in in the country um for at least this year but it it was just really just alarming at first like wait all these eyes are on me all these all these people are going to see this and <laughs> i it was just a really overwhelming feeling um just this nervousness and like all of the just tension that i had just sort of fell away and i was like wow i'm going to be like first number 1 and it's it's still like i'm still processing it it doesn't even feel real right now so it's i don't know it's a coming and going emotion oh, yeah, i have a question um congratulations that was awesome thank you uh since you're so new to the sport do you uh do you follow the sport and who are some of your favorite lifters that Paved the way before you. Mm, yeah, I. <laughs> that's that's difficult because I've only just started following it, um, but just just some lifters that I'm trying to aspire to meet or or to replicate are uh, Mahela Reeves. Uh, yeah, um, Leanne Hewitt and Bonica Brown, like the top, top three lifters for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I met Ray Williams today, who is still, still crazy to think about his massive total and squat. Um, and yeah, just watching, watching these people up close or over or on YouTube, it's just been, yeah, yeah, just like some really big shoes that I'm trying to fill. Another question for you. Um, a lot of lifters find that competitions are as much about competing as it is about learning what you can change or improve for the next time. I know it's pretty early post-competition. Your coach talked about learning some things that you can only ever see in person. What are you taking away from this competition that you might want to change or add or subtract? as you move forward. Yeah, that's that's really good. Um, but I would say I've learned a lot about um, the pressure that that I feel, like the, the eyes that are on me, and learning how to deal with that, because um, this is like the most amount of people that have ever seen me. <laughs> um, so, yeah, just, just taking that new experience will help me later with other competitions. Um, and, yeah, I've learned a lot about how that pressure can really affect my technique and the different lifts I do. So I'm, I'm going to be working a lot on just, like, staying cool under um, massive amounts of weight and uh, just trying to have more fun at competitions because... Yeah, it it was it was stressful for the most part, but I met some really cool lifters that that really made it more bearable. I just have one for you, Coach. Um, yep. Obviously, he's saying that um, you're you're fairly new in terms of uh, the powerlifting uh, sector. You honestly, I, I had a chance to kind of watch you operate in the back. You're very calculated, very <laughs> cool and calm. Um, what are some things that you took from this competition? Obviously. Um, I mean, maybe off the top of your head that you, you, you're thinking about in terms of maybe uh, training uh, for her um, in the future that you feel like you could uh, really kind of help her uh, get better at going into the next meeting. Yeah, her training is really interesting, honestly. I, I don't believe many people would believe what little work we've actually done. So I've been more of the part of holding her back quite a bit. So I know her, her limit is really high. So. Um, the last thing I want to do is jump 
too much too soon. Um, even though she's lifting a lot, I know there's a tremendous amount more in the tank. So, But when I first met her, I only let, let her work up to a, a certain amount in the gym. And I'm like, okay, this technique is uh, too questionable now. So we pretty much stripped the weight all the way down and started from scratch, from square one. So, um, And then trying to work, make sure she is strong, support throughout the midline um really healthy knees and ankles and just everywhere hope working on some tendons and, and stuff work so she can be here for a long time hopefully and uh for the long game lo the long game <laughs> absolutely yeah absolutely um but my takeaways from today were were really a lot about timing mm -hmm. so um i did spend a lot of work planning out when people were lifting and what time, uh, when this person's lifting, when are we going to take this lift, how much. So um, I didn't really get a base that off of, I didn't use anybody else as a guideline, but I was able to come up and create my own kind of on the fly. Um, I feel like it worked pretty well. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, she got the win. She was gonna, she was gonna win probably regardless if I whatever I I did. But yeah. Um, yeah, another question. Um, you said that you're 18. Are you still in high school? Uh, yes, I am. I'm a, I'm a senior in high school. She has class tomorrow. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, track hasn't been, like, a very big, strong suit. Um, I've had some advantages, you know, because of my coach, because of my strength. Um, but it's not something that I could really see myself really pursuing professionally. Um, I'll, I'm still going to participate, you know, in clubs and, um, different meets, but I... I, I don't believe that I'm going to be yeah going collegiate with it. Yeah, we're definitely, her focus totally is powerlifting for now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, we're, I mean, so she, she well, in March 5th, so like next weekend, we're doing a Highland Games competition. So she loves doing that. She broke three ju sub or junior world records in Highland Games a few months ago, too. So it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. But her shot put and skills are... <laughs> I don't know why they're not where they feel like they could be. <laughs> so, yeah. so, but we've been working on, a lot on. She obviously has that static strength, right. but we're working a lot more on the explosive power and development there. So that's where she has the world to grow. So. So you do a lot of. I mean, so you have some hybrid coaching going on. I mean, obviously, you have like a, a powerlifting going on. You have some hybrid. Uh, Highland Games and things of, of that nature on. So, um, so you're you're honestly you're you're just taking the whole strength sport by the storm, pretty much. You're just trying to do it all, which is awesome. Um, so you like the Highland Games? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's it's. And, and it's, it's there's fun. a bit of carryover uh, for 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 both sports, absolutely. Um, so. I don't, I'm, I'm trying to word this uh, where it actually makes sense. So is, is there like a, a specific type of split that you guys do uh, with their training uh, in order for her to get uh, advantages, obviously, in, in both sports? So Highland Games, we just absolutely completely do for fun. There's no peaking or focusing right. on it at all. Literally the day before we practiced, she threw several <laughs> throws for the first time the day before she went and broke the world record. So it's not uh, – by no means was it – this long journey of technical analysis <laughs> compared to other Highland game right. throwers. I'm like, okay, grab it between the legs and throw it over your head <laughs> as, as high as you can. Right, right. Did it go over the bar? Good job. Okay. <laughs> right. um, I mean, it's I'll t definitely a little bit more technical than that, but... Um, and you get to wear a sport field, so that, that doesn't hurt. It's exactly. Cool. Exactly. <laughs> That's the whole reason I, I like it. Um, but our splits and timings, I know for juniors coming up, I have already a seven a seven week and then a, a deload awesome. time and then another seven week jump that we're going to go for. So. All right. Any other questions? All right. Well, Kayla, congratulations, congratulations again. Luella, on your national open national championship. And we wish you luck at junior nationals and on to junior worlds from there. A sub junior world. Right? So. Yep. Matt, do you want to put a shameless plug? If the, if no, I want any more. But you can. 
Oh, Matt, uh, so shameless plug for Matt Gary's um, attempt selection and game day handling ebook. So um, yeah, find him on, on Instagram or uh, the internet somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> You'll learn everything that you yeah, need to know about game okay. day handling. Sweet. Uh, probably a good study before June. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Somewhere on the line we'll find you. Yes, sir. Right. Well, thank you, guys. Sounds good. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.